This is a short PowerPoint presentation on um, the history to date, just three years of the Bright Umbrella Drama Company. Uh, this little slide shows some of the highlights um, that we've had from our inception in 2017 uh, up to the present day. This was recorded in April 2020. Uh, so, uh, the company was established on Thursday the 9th of February uh, with the Constitution, uh, that was in 2017. Our original rehearsals um, took place at uh, the Agape uh, Centre, kindly provided to us um, free of charge. And rehearsals and um, performances uh, also took place at that time at Accidental Theatre in Shaftesbury Square, uh, Belfast. The first show that we ever did actually was called Life, The Life, Loves and Dark Secrets of Will Shakespeare. And it took place at a, a, a little cafe called um, the Fat Gherkin uh, in Moira, just outside Lisburn in Northern Ireland, uh, on Saturday the 17th of June um, 2017. Um, uh, it was a review show, if you like the best bits from Shakespeare, linked by a, a narration uh, about the man's life. Um, it was very well received. Uh, there was supper that night, which was very nice. Uh, and we went on to do the show in a number of um, places uh, after that. The first uh, real major show that we did was uh, Macbeth, um, uh, an edited version, um, just over, uh, well, I think about an hour and 15 minutes long. Um, we did it at a festival called Moira Calling, again in Moira Village, on the 8th of September, 17. Um, and then we went on to do it on Friday the 29th um, and Saturday the 30th of September um, at Accidental Theatre. Um, these are the three witches. Well, the three witches stole the show, really. Um, uh, Gwen uh, Scott played Lady Macbeth and was superb. Um, the next um, show that we did was a show called A Family Affair. Um, and this was the first time that we'd ever received grant aid um, for a show. We received a very small grant to write a show, which we called Family Affair, uh, about men's mental health. Uh, and we first performed it on Friday the 20th of October. Uh, sorry, my mistake. Yes, Friday the 20th of October in the Agape Centre. And on 2nd of November uh, 2017, we did it um, at the Spectrum Centre um, on the Shanko Road. Um, we went on to do the a family affair um, uh, a few times um, later on. Actually. Around that time, we had a bit of a, um, uh, a pleasant dalliance with um, Carnegie Old Park uh, Library, um, one of the um, Andrew Carnegie um, libraries throughout the UK. Um, we rehearsed there a number of occasions, but um, it's in the process of being um, revamped and, and restructured and rebuilt really um, and unfortunately the the um, permissions in terms of fire safety and so on weren't available to us so we couldn't perform there uh, and we we finished our um, kind of formal relationship with them um, a few months ago but we'll always be friends there and um, we're looking forward to seeing the, the the finished product and maybe even performing in the revamped library um, on uh, Friday the 2nd and Saturday the 3rd of March 2018 was the first outing of a show that would run for across a couple of years, um, Othello, uh, again uh, an abridged version which became very popular um, in schools. Um, we did it on Monday 9th of April in Metropolitan um, College um, and we later did it in St Dominic's Grammar for Girls, Friends School, Lisburn, Laurel Hill. Um, uh, as part of a little schools tour in uh, April um, 2018 uh, and indeed in March as well, March, April um, 2018. Um, around that time we were also still doing family affair, places like the Island Centre in Lisburn. The Lisburn Blues Club, which is a football um, club where, where we were, the audience were largely young footballers. Um, an organization called STAR and of course um, they were very keen to get the message across to their players about mental health and about um, suicide prevention and so on. Um, 
In September of 2018, we actually signed an agreement with um, the Mount Pottinger uh, non-subscribing Presbyterian Church, of which more um, shortly. Um, but we also did this fundraiser called a Big Bash for Budco, which was great fun. Didn't raise any money, <laughs> but it was great crack. Um, around that time, Friday 23rd and Friday and Saturday 24th of November 18, we did Romeo and Juliet at Accidental Theatre. Um, this is this slide here shows part of the um, we did a dance uh, movement piece. Uh, this is this is that being rehearsed. Um, on the Monday, the 4th of February, um, we were engaged in a very interesting project along with Four Corners um, Festival, where we organized a rehearsed reading of the tour at Troy um, at the Europa Hotel on Monday, the 4th of February. The tour at Troy is by Seamus Heaney. It's a retelling of a very old um, Greek um, tale called Philoctetes. Um, and uh, by Sophocles, um, and the kind of his his translation of the Cure of Troy really kind of speaks to the Northern Ireland peace process. So we involved a whole lot of um, Northern Ireland politicians here. You can see people like um, Naomi Long, um, Marcin O'Mullier, um, Claire Hanna uh, in the back row there, um, all of whom have gone on to be MPs or, or members of the Northern Ireland Assembly or take up high office. But of course, we'll always claim them as ours. Um, so that was a terrific night, um, sold out, um, and, uh, and, and, and terrifically enjoyable. Um, now, at this time, we were we were we were rehearsing, and indeed, we were we were planning to perform at Mount Pottinger, non subscribing Presbyterian Church, which we had, which we had turned into a little theatre, um, and over the uh, from. The time that we kind of had the agreement with them, which was September 2018, until the present day, we've been improving the theatre, um, putting in lights, sound, putting in staging, um, to the point where it, it is now a, a, a really excellent little 60 seat um, performance space. Um, people call it quirky um, and, and intimate, and that's just the way we like it because we're able to do shows where we are really in the faces, so to speak, of the audience, where we bring home the power of the drama. Uh, the first show that we did there was Othello, um, and uh, audiences really enjoyed it because um, the action was so close to them. This is Glenn uh, McGivern and Christine Clark. They're doing a piece for a charity called um, Harmony, uh, who were celebrating their 140th birthday, and we were happy to go to Belfast City Hall and put on a couple of pieces of drama showing scenes from their past. Uh, we renamed Family Affair Pure Mental, a, a much better name for it. Um, and we, perf we performed it on Thursday the 28th uh, of March um, at Hyde Bank Wood uh, College, which is essentially Northern Ireland's um, youth prison um, facility. To say that it was an interesting night would be an understatement. Um, tough crowd, <laughs> but um, we uh, we got through it and um, they enjoyed it. And a lot of them were listening very very rapid, uh, rapidly to the uh, if there's such a word to the to the to the drama. And I think that we got our messages across. Um, there was more um, Othello with a a, a slightly different um, cast. Othello and Desdemona. Uh, the the rules um, changed um, actors. We did some uh, media work around that at the time, uh, and we put it on fourth of March, two thousand and nineteen at Cirque College in Lisburn, at the Metropolitan College in Belfast on the sixth of March, and at the Little Theatre um, on the seventh uh, to ninth of of uh, of March two thousand and nineteen. At around that time as well, we did a reading of Over the Bridge by Sam Thompson, which is a, which is a play, um, which is a very represents a very seminal moment in uh, uh, Northern Ireland theatre history, because it was banned at the time because of its portrayal of sectarianism in the Belfast shipyards. And this is a play that um, we hope to actually stage. At the time that this is being recorded, um, we're all um, we're all locked down. Um, because of the coronavirus um, situation, but over the bridge is being cast, and we hope to we hope to to do it at various festivals, including West Belfast Festival, and also to take it to Dublin 
and the smock alley. Um, we started around that time, we started in April the East Laughs, which is our kind of, well, that time was um, monthly um, comedy night, has subsequently become bi monthly. As time has gone on, people have got to know about it, um, and the standard of comedy has been absolutely first class. Um, we went on to record Pure Mental uh, at a, a one man show called Hope and Alcohol. Um, we recorded that um, at uh, Down Patrick uh, at an organization called Life Change Changes Lives, which is for um, addicts and, and recovering alcoholics and people who have issues uh, with drug use. Um, that is available to watch on our website. Um, we also um, improved the little theater by installing um, lights in September 2019. Uh, and it started really to, to kind of take shape um, and, and to look like a performance space. We uh, had a show called Border Pole, which represented another um, milestone for us in that it was written by a member of the company, Chris Darcy. It was the first time that we'd ever done anything that was um, uh, new writing. Othello continued. Um, we went on a short Irish tour uh, in November. Um, November uh, and December um, 2019, we played um, the Ardoan in Enniskillen, the Riverside in Coleraine, the Sean Hollywood Theatre in Newry, uh, and a beautiful theatre called Smock Alley in Dublin. Um, and that was again another milestone for us because it was the first time we'd ever toured um, a play in that way. Um, this is uh, Coleraine, this is the Riverside in Coleraine. Uh, we had a great audience. Um, this was taken before the show, obviously. But we had we played to very good audiences, very strong audiences, very appreciative audiences. Um, I believe this is Enniskillen, um, at the Ardo. And this is Smock Alley. We did a one-off show called um, Late Lewis, about the life uh, and writings of, of um, C.S. Lewis, as part of the C.S. Lewis East, Belf East Side uh, Arts Festival that was on the 22nd of November 2019 um, and then we got into a run of A Christmas Carol which we performed in a couple of schools but mostly at, at the Little Theatre. Again very very well received. Um, we also finished Othello at Metropolitan College um, on Wednesday the 18th of December and kind of said goodbye to, to what had been a terrifically um, successful show. So 2020, we haven't got to do much at all really because of the coronavirus crisis, but um, we had the pleasure of hosting Willie Drennan and his band um, at the Little Theatre on Friday the 31st of January. On the 10th of February, we had a classic play reading by Zoom. Uh, actually, on Monday 10th of February, we had a, we had a classic play reading with Macbeth. Um, that was in person at the Little Theatre, and it was kind of the last thing that we did before lockdown. Uh, apart from on Wednesday the 20th, the 6th of February, we had the pleasure of doing um, a workshop uh, on Romeo and Juliet. Um, and here uh, is Bryony and James playing the aforementioned, and we did that at Antrim Grammar. Um, we've moved to Zoom recently, uh, and we are doing our play uh, Unholy War. Um, and we have recorded that um, by, uh, by Zoom. But we hope to be up and running again. That was a very short um, little history of where we've been um, from February 2017 to March 2020. Uh, hope you enjoyed that.